so glad you joined us. I'm Julie Bumgardner, and this is Julie B TV. Welcome to this episode of Julie B TV, The Relatable Table. We are going to hit boundaries with in-laws today. Yeah. Everybody mm -hmm. ready? We're so ready. ready. Mm -hmm. I think okay. so. We have yeah. Caroline, who has new in-laws. Newly married. Yeah. Seven months. Yeah. Seven months. Mm -hmm. And Gina. 25 years 25 of in-laws. 25 years of experience. Yes. Yes. And Chris. 15 years. All right. And yeah. I've got 30 Yay. under my belt. All right. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> so give me all your wisdom. <laughs> That's exactly why we're here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this is, this is something that gets a lot of conversation in magazines and on all kinds of talk mm -hmm. shows because it seems to be the thing that can really trip couples up yeah. or be mm -hmm. fabulous yeah. for mm -hmm. them. So let's just talk about some of the things that could potentially be issues with in-laws, and and you could speak to things that you have been concerned about mm -hmm. as you enter into this new phase of your life, mm -hmm. and then you all can certainly speak with experience mm -hmm. about uh, maybe what you didn't know that yeah. you wished you had known when it comes to boundaries with in-laws. Chris, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll let you go first. Okay, <laughs> fine, yeah. Um, the first thing I think of is holidays. Mm. And, and how did you guys you, actually talk about that though? I just want to know, before you got married, did y'all talk about holidays? Or did you just think, oh, this is going to be great? I, I think it was more we thought this was going to be great at mm. first. You know, we talked a little bit about it. Um, but then, you know, the closer the holidays got, and I, I think that was a mistake we, make, we made was we got close to the holidays before talking about mm. it, when the stress is already set on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So we were, um, you know, we're playing the game of, of who, who's gonna go where, mm -hmm. are we gonna go there? My parents lived in town, her parents lived three hours away, mm. and, and plus she had extended family mm -hmm. away. So how are we gonna do that with extended family when they had their traditions? Mm -hmm. um, and we see your parents all the time, because they were, Right here. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and, and we had our traditions of going to, you know, dad's side of the family, mom's side of the family. So it wasn't just two households. Mm -hmm. dealing with, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. five or six is yeah. we're trying to play that game. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. So holidays for mm -hmm. y'all. What about for you? It was holidays. <clears throat> um, but while we were dating, we would always, especially Thanksgiving, that was our really mm -hmm. big holiday. Mm -hmm. I did two Thanksgivings. We would go to his house and then we'd go to my family's house or we go to my family's house and then we'd go to his. It would alternate. So it was really um, big one was holidays. Second one, once we started having the grandkids, mm -hmm. that became how yes. who gets them when, yeah. how do we share time, all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Caroline, take note. Holidays <laughs> yes. might be significant to uh, have a conversation about. Yes. Oh, we've already started having that conversation. <laughs> oh. um, my family, I'm one of five kids, and three of them are already married, mm. and so I've kind of watched them set mm. boundaries mm. with their in-laws mm -hmm. and my parents as well. Yep. So my family's kind of already got a system worked out to an extent. Um, and then his side, um, his parents are divorced, and so his mm. dad and stepmom have some daughters who are married and one of them has kids and so they already have some boundaries set up but his mom and stepdad don't have mm. anybody else okay, um, they have this. one daughter yeah. but she's still she's engaged now mm -hmm. and so we we're the first ones married mm. so it's been interesting to kind of see those different mm -hmm. dynamics and how that plays into while well, we're planning for the holidays yeah. Yeah. And even just yeah. who gets to come visit us when and yeah. how often we go to nashville because they're all in nashville oh, which wow. is helpful yeah. but also we have to see everybody anytime mm -hmm. we ever go to nashville um so it's it can be messy mm -hmm. already, mm -hmm. and it's only been seven months. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's interesting about that, though, is that when you're dealing, you know, Kristen and I, we have the blessing of being only children. Oh. Oh. Well, and I was gonna, that, yeah. yeah, like you say blessing sarcastically mm -hmm. or no, seriously. for real, because, mm -hmm. because uh, I think in, in like Caroline's case, when you have siblings and cousins who mm -hmm. so have yet to be married, yeah. and as time goes on, the boundaries are always going to shift yeah. from mm -hmm. there on out. Who's going to go where could look different right. yeah. from year to year even. Yeah. Well, yeah. even 
my parents' thing is they don't really care when we celebrate as long as we're all together celebrating. Oh. So, all together. Exactly. Oh. So they leave it up to us kids to figure out when oh. that will be. Right. And yeah. my Christmas husband, in July. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, we just need to <laughs> separate yeah. the months out here. We'll spend yeah. a full month with you guys. But, yeah. um, but we'll have to be in Chattanooga um, on Christmas Eve this year. Yeah. And so we're like, I don't know what that's going to look like. And we'll have to be back that Sunday. And yeah. yep. it's just going to be messy. And we've yeah. accepted that. Yeah. Yeah. I think the holidays is, is the pivotal moment yeah. in my marriage yeah. where we actually sat down and said, what in the heck are we doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are killing ourselves because mm -hmm. uh, Jay's mom really has a big celebration on Christmas mm -hmm. Eve. My mom did Christmas morning and she lives two hours away. Wow. And so, especially when we had our daughter yeah. and oh, yeah. I want to yeah. watch her Christmas yeah. morning. Yeah. Uh, so we were just literally killing ourselves, mm -hmm. trying to please everybody. And I think that, that that's the moment when we looked at each other and said, we cannot do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got mm -hmm. to set some boundaries here. Yeah. Yeah. because it's creating tension in our marriage. It's making us so stressful. I mean, our daughter's picking up on mm -hmm. that and mm -hmm. it just, it doesn't make sense. Yep, yep. I think you made a, a really key phrase there is trying to please everybody. Mm -hmm. Because when our boundaries are down, that's what we're trying to do. And, and for us, for Kristen and I, I know, I can't remember if we had a conversation about this or if we just sort of are of the, of the same mind but we said, you know, when we were married, uh, the, the same thought process with us was, you know, we we are now mm -hmm. a family, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, and and this unit, she and I, you and I, are the priority. Yeah, y'all come first. Right, exactly. And so, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, we want to be respectful. Mm -hmm. We want to to be respectful to the traditions of our family, mm -hmm. but at the same time we also have traditions to create for ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that especially comes into play with kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kids come oh, along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. so we had to keep that in mind all along. Yeah. I think for us, when it came to the holidays, it was easier for us before kids because we would alternate. Mm -hmm. My family did big Thanksgiving, so we'd spend right. more time with them. His family did big Christmas, so we would be there for Christmas. But when the boys came, we made a conscious <laughs> decision we were going to be home, home. at yeah. our home. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll never forget that very first Christmas, we had gone to Philadelphia, got caught in an ice storm, oh. got right about North Carolina, so we were below the ice, and we had a decision to make. We could get on the highway and go home to Savannah and start a, a thing that we would have to continue if we mm. went or just stay on 20 and go back to our home in Atlanta. Mm. That's what we did. We, mm -hmm. Because once you start, it's real hard to change boundaries and change expectations. So you really have to be willing, if you're gonna do it, you have to think you're gonna mm -hmm. do it forever. That's, That's a, a really point. good point. Yeah. Because right now I'm like, oh, well, we don't have kids, so we should try and please everyone <laughs> as much as possible because uh, we don't have an excuse. No, no. <laughs> but that's a good point. It would yeah. be really difficult to change traditions that we make yeah. with our families right, now yeah. Right, yeah. when we do have kids and want to set our mm -hmm. own traditions. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about this. So I know you guys have, have already been down the road a fair amount in terms of having to tell your parents mm. or your spouse's parents how things are going to yeah. be different yeah. and if you haven't you're getting ready to yeah. Yeah. yeah so how did that work for you like who told who about what your plans were whether it was with kids mm. and the amount of time they were going to spend with them or the holidays or anything else mm -hmm. how, how did that work i think for us um again we we not only are we blessed as being only children we're, we're blessed with very understanding parents mm -hmm. very flexible so i, I will say that it wasn't as big of a struggle and a challenge as may, maybe a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but we still needed to verbalize mm -hmm. some things at times. And, and I know for us, it was very important that um, if we were gonna do that, I, I would go to my parents, mm -hmm. you know, and, and she would go to her parents, if that, however that worked, you know. But it was important that we went to our own family of origin to mm -hmm. talk that out because we, we didn't want 
anyone to be pitted against the mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. see the other person as the enemy. So you didn't mm -hmm. go and say, well, we're not coming because Kristen won't let us mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. Kristen, <laughs> uh, she's just standing firm on this and she wants to stay home. Yeah, no, it wasn't like that at all. Yeah, yeah, we, we wanted to uh, present ourselves as this is our decision, mm -hmm. we're a team on this, yeah. yeah. I know for a couple of Thanksgivings, we tried to do everybody together. Oh, oh everybody. Um, because my family would do a big Thanksgiving and it was just um, my husband's parents, his sister and husband and his sister. Mm -hmm. So it was just five or six of them and we had 50, so what's oh, five hello. more? <laughs> so for a couple of Thanksgivings, we all tried to do it together. But then we moved out of town and mm -hmm. we just had to, it was whoever's house we stayed at during that time, that's where we would celebrate most of the holiday. Mm -hmm. We would go visit the other, but we'd do mainly where we stayed. And who delivered that news? We, we had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Tell Caroline that plan. <laughs> we had a plan. Um, when my uncle got married, he and his wife would come back home and he would stay with my grandmother and his wife would stay with her parents. Hmm. So for like all their marriage, they never stayed together for wow. holidays. What? And I remember oh. seeing that as a teenager wow. and I said, I'm not, not doing, doing that. that. <laughs> not doing that. So that very first Thanksgiving, we got married in February, we came home and we stayed with my parents for Thanksgiving. So we came home again, we stayed with his parents for Christmas. So alternating. And then the next time we came, so we would go back and forth. So they just knew if we stay with you last. Somebody else's turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had to do, but we had to do that. That's how we set it up. Yeah. And have y'all already set it up? We, kind of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have definitely established that I will talk to my family and he mm -hmm. will talk to his family. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no in between mm -hmm. on that. Um, that's very clear, especially with his parents being divorced. Mm -hmm. I don't want to yeah, really yeah. get a cuddle yeah. of that because yeah. mm -hmm. he knows how to deal with that better yeah. than I do. Um, but there has been some miscommunication already on what we're doing for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and some people are getting upset. And there's so many people involved in this mm -hmm. planning process that it's like one person needs to change plans. And it's like, well, but I have 15 people mm -hmm. in my immediate family now. I can't just change all of our plans because wow. you need to change your plans and all that kind of stuff. Um, and my husband, wonderful. I love him so much, but he's not as firm as mm -hmm. he needs to be sometimes. So it can be difficult because I'm like, I feel like I need to be on the call to be like setting those clear <laughs> instructions and boundaries. Um, See, I think the ruffled feathers thing yeah. really scares people. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. They're so mm -hmm. afraid, especially if you have a parent that's particularly strong, mm -hmm. controlling, mm -hmm. or has just kind of always had it their way. Yeah. And now all yeah. of a sudden, there's this other person in the picture mm -hmm. and you're not cooperating mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. we've always done right. it. Yeah. Right. Um, I think ruffled feathers are a thing though. Yeah. I mean, I, I think yeah. you have to be careful uh, about skirt skirting them yeah. just because then you start building up resentment yep. and yep. bitterness, not just towards them, but even in your mm -hmm. own relationship, because mm -hmm. you're like, this is just complicated. Mm -hmm. it's just, I just mm -hmm. want the holidays to be over mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to deal with this anymore. Yeah. We actually just had a conversation last night because we were going through all of this process for Thanksgiving. And my husband was like, I'm already tired of the holidays. Wow. Like, it's <laughs> October. <Yes. laughs> it's like, not yeah. that good. Yes. Um, but part of that conversation was realizing that all of our parents want the same thing. Yeah. They just want to spend time with us right. during the holidays. And they want us to all be together and have some family time. Mm -hmm. And they want to know that their time is valued mm -hmm. to us and that mm -hmm. they're loved and respected by both of us. Yeah. And I just was walking through it with Will and I was like, I think as long as we make that clear, that mm -hmm. that's our goal and mm -hmm. we want the same thing that they mm -hmm. want, mm -hmm. that'll help a lot in this process. But hopefully. helping them understand that it does have to change. Right. Yeah, it's I do change. realize it's be that as you get married and you add people to the family, mm -hmm. what you used to could do, you can't do anymore yeah. because you do have more people and they have to be willing to be flexible yeah and understand that you all are a family unit now mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Well, and it even gets more exciting because you know you have 
you have this where newlywed and you're trying to figure uh -huh. out the dance and then your kids get older you have one yes. in college and yes. so how he comes home when he's here yes. impacts whether or not you can travel yes my daughter working and, mm -hmm. and being able to travel I mean there were some years that we were just like we're not leaving because yes. she's coming to our house and we're not gonna make her travel yep. X number of hours yep. further Extra. and back you know to I mean I just want to be able to spend time with her so yeah I think you have to be uh, one not afraid of the ruffled yeah. feathers and and recognize, I love that you said, just acknowledging, hey, I, I think we're clear about mm -hmm. what it is you're wanting, and our goal is to try and help make that happen. But I think in the end, probably one of the biggest things that we learned is we're not responsible for other people's happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And, and if happiness is contingent on you being at a specific place yeah. at a certain mm -hmm. time, whether that's for the mm -hmm, holidays mm -hmm. or I want the kids for X number of yeah. days, whatever, yeah. um, there's bigger issues mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. So you know, with boundaries, I think comes real freedom because yeah. you're clear, there's yeah. clear lines. With the whole ruffled feathers thing too, as I was listening to you guys, I was trying to think back to our experience and, and we've moved you know, from being in town to out of town, mm. like on, on the other side of the country. I was gonna say mm -hmm. way far away. Right, yeah. which, you know, honestly, I, sort of a side note, it kind of helped. It, yeah, it does, it does. It does. Like, we can't, we just can't. Right, because yeah. yep. we said, y'all gotta come to us. <laughs> right, right. You can say yes or no, yeah. it won't hurt our feelings, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. But the, the, the few times I could think of where ruffled feathers might have been an issue, mm. We've, we've ex tried to explain that to say, you know, we know we all want to be together. We've had to balance things. We won't get together now, but why don't we try to get together after this? Mm -hmm. And it may not have been ideal in, in their minds, mm -hmm. but after it was all over, things seemed to be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it made it easier for the next set of holidays to come mm -hmm. along and go, okay, we're, we, we don't have to do all this right. together on this right. date necessarily. And, so I think the, it's that yeah. initial disappointment that, oh right. my goodness, things are changing. Right. Like they're really changing. Yeah. I do yeah. think change scares people, especially mm. around the holidays. Because um, my mother died in early November, so that very first Thanksgiving. Mm. And you keep trying to do it like it was always done. Yeah. But then you realize it can't be done that way mm -hmm. and it's okay. Mm -hmm. And doing something new, fun, different, takes away some of the pressure. Yeah. And I know when Ed came home his freshman year, we did Thanksgiving the first weekend in November. It was spectacular. Yeah. I wasn't dealing with the holiday grocery store, mm. travel. Mm -hmm. We were just at home. We had a great thanks. And at Thanksgiving, I was like, oh, <laughs> can we do this every year? Yeah. But it changes from year to year, yeah. and you have to be flexible. Well, and not being afraid yeah. to do something different. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to have some, some empathy for my parents and my in-laws as well, because some of those traditions that could change, mm -hmm. they've had a longer history mm -hmm. with those than I have. Mm -hmm. You know, they've been doing that for years mm -hmm. since maybe they were first married. Yeah. And so I have to understand if there's changes going on, there's a lot of history that, mm -hmm. that could shift. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it, it helps us with approaching the boundaries better. Yeah. 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 So we've talked a lot about the holidays. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think just in general, you talked about being a long way away from your yeah. family, but when your yeah. family's close by, I remember my husband and I were actually looking at buying a house that was in very close proximity to my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. And we told her that we were looking at this house that was mm -hmm. seven doors up. And, and she, <laughs> she said, okay. And then the next day we get this phone call and she says, I, I have decided that I'm okay with you living up here if mm -hmm. that's what you decide to do. However, you will call before <laughs> you come to visit mm -hmm. and I will do the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is awesome yeah. mm -hmm. because she has a real clear yes. understanding mm -hmm. of a boundary, even though we're gonna be neighbors, mm -hmm. that we're not just gonna drop in yes. on each other whenever, but especially with newlyweds mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. are kind of making mm -hmm. changes, mm -hmm. yep. I have heard that being 
a real issue that yeah. you know mom used to come and drop off laundry or help with pets <laughs> or whatever so they have a key to the house and they yeah. just stop by and leave things for you and you're like someone's been here. here and I didn't know they were coming mm -hmm. what, what what do you all think about that I had um, the type of mother that I would go to her house after I left work and I guess one day she noticed me over there and she looked at me and she said you know you don't live here anymore. <laughs> Hello. Like, okay, that was a boundary. Because yeah. in my mind, I thought I was supposed to go by, mm. but I realized my grandmother kept me, so it was very plausible for her to go by my grandmother's house to pick me up and go home. She, If I wasn't there, she wasn't just dropping by. So she let me know that was a line, that mm. you don't have to come here. You. You can go home mm -hmm. and enjoy being at your house, <laughs> not my house. And she was real clear. This is not your home <laughs> anymore. I like, that. I really love okay. That. Yeah. All right. I hear you loud and clear. Yeah. What about clear. doing your marriage work with your parents Ooh. or the in-laws? Like you're upset with your spouse, so you oh, call gosh. your mama, or you. That was very clear with Will and I. That was never on the table. <laughs> Not gonna happen. See again, I guess my mother, because my husband could talk to my mother about me, huh? And she, she would be like, I know. I understand. <laughs> Will does that with my siblings, he, but not my parents. Yeah, he does. He did it with mother, and she would come back to me and say, "Don't mess up my child." And I was like. I'm your child. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was talking about my husband. Oh, yeah. Wow. They they could talk oh about gosh. me and she wouldn't stop loving me and he, she could help him understand mm -hmm. me. And but I don't feel comfortable doing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It just, you know, sometimes you can, a lot of times you can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever gone to my in-laws. For, for anything, I've gone to my parents. Mm. And I'm more guilty of that rather than going to my spouse mm -hmm. to try to figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge, I don't think Kristen's ever gone to anyone to talk about me. I don't know. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll assume the best. Um, but I, I have, like, I can remember going to my dad and going, to, I just don't know. You know, she does this, and she and, and we talk about this, and she doesn't hear me when I do this. And my dad was extremely wise to say, "I hear you. I've I've seen that. You need to go home. <laughs> you need, you need to, to go to, home. You need to talk to her." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great! Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you know, wow. but he was right. He was actually putting up the boundary that I needed yeah. to have, there, which was great. Yeah, 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 absolutely. yeah. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. not all in-laws do that. True. Some in -laws, well, and they feed it. Yeah. I, mean, I think a lot of times yeah. they right. they feed that which just creates more distance the, and, and tension mm -hmm. for the couple. Mm -hmm. I love that your dad told you to go home. Yeah. That's outstanding. Yeah. He, yeah. He's only go home a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. What is it? What is it? Just to be yes. fair. Yes. Exactly. Get anymore. out of my <laughs> fridge, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, boundaries really are a good thing. I, I think they get mm -hmm. a bad rap they because do. people are like, oh, yeah, no, I could, I could never do that. Yeah. And then they go around with all this built up mm -hmm. resentment mm -hmm. because they didn't actually right. have a conversation, talk about their mm -hmm. feelings, discuss the issues at hand and make some decisions about how we're going to handle it yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. So there's your homework, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, boundaries are an interesting thing. We do tend to have a very negative connotation mm -hmm. when we think about them, but actually they're very freeing. Mm -hmm. So. Perhaps tonight you could sit down and have a conversation with your spouse about the boundaries that you guys have in place and maybe some boundaries that after listening to this conversation, you would want to put in place without the guilt. I mean, I really think people yeah. can ditch the guilt mm -hmm. and make some healthy decisions that benefit your marriage relationship and ultimately in the end benefit everybody. Mm -hmm. it, it may not feel like a win, in the moment sometimes because people do not like change, mm -hmm. but ultimately people adapt and adjust yeah, and come around and see that, oh right, they are a family and they should be doing these things. I think people uh, sometimes have amnesia yeah. uh, about what it was like back when they, they became mm -hmm. a family mm -hmm. and started all these things. Mm -hmm. So hang in there, one foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. have the discussion, and then I hope you'll be courageous enough maybe to try just one 
something that could be a real win for you. Hey, 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 if there's topics you want to see us cover on Julie B. TV, the Relatable Table Sessions, email me at julie at juliebtv.com. And if you want to stay in the know about all the conversations that happen on the Relatable Table, literally yeah. on the table, you better subscribe to Julie B. TV on YouTube. This table is very relatable. Oh. Relatable. Legit conversation. Relatable. Right right. Subscribe. <laughs> Boom.